Hey, Jan Janelle is wants to be on the hot seat. Hi. <laughs> Hi. You've been on before, right? I have been on before. Um, so oh. thank you for letting me uh, back on here. Um, all right. All right. So first off, uh, when I was on before, I misspelled your name. So sorry about that. And second, <laughs> all right. about it. <laughs> here is my question. Uh, I tried to type it, but um, it took up too much space. So uh, in relationships, it seems to me at the beginning, I am more confident in voicing uh, my opinions and what I want, yeah, that kind of stuff. And then um, the more time goes by, I become more timid and yeah. it's every time. And uh, that seems so backwards and really bad. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I, because okay. in the beginning, well, let me, let me jump in because in the beginning yeah. you don't give a shit. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, and, and let me let me rephrase that. You know what? And I'm I'm saying that a little tongue in cheek, but oh, yeah. you know, he doesn't. You know, you're not attached to the outcome. You're not attached to this person. But most importantly, the minute you become vulnerable to another human being, you know, it's scary. You know, the minute you open your heart to another person, it's rather scary because on some level they have the power to destroy it. They have the power to rip it apart and burn it at the fire pit. I'm exaggerating, of course. I'm with you. <laughs> so one of the chapters, you know, it's interesting. My son, Connor, the one who passed away, um, the chapter five in the book is called, um, hold on a second. Uh, what page is it on? Uh, 39. So read what that says. Don't let anyone F with your chi. Yeah. So what that means is, is retaining your power in a relationship. It, it starts by working on non-attachment. In other words, and I'm not saying that we don't come attached to another human being, but we work on not being so attached that if it doesn't work out, you know, we're going to still be okay. And don't let anyone fuck with our chi. It's like, really, it's also don't let yourself fuck with your chi. Right. What that means is you retain your power the way you did in the beginning through the middle. Now, of course, the more attached you become to someone, it's going to be more difficult. But this is where learning healthier communication techniques with one another pays dividends by building a relationship that's built on trust through you know, through social activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends, traveling together, the more trust you build with another human being, the safer we feel to communicate with them. But I feel like there's something deeper in your question that you're not asking. So go, what is it that you're really asking? Well, so I'm, <clears throat> I'm not sure really. I, what I was going to ask you um, is if you have, um, I don't know, like techniques or something like, for me to stop doing that, you know, or for me to keep my power, you, you know, because it, it's every time the further it so goes. I want you to write this down and everybody, someone put this in the chat box. I want you to write after my broadcast. I want you to go on YouTube. I want you to type in stop it, Bob Newhart. Here, we'll do it um, together. So um, here, um, bear with me one second. Now, this is a little tongue in cheek, okay? Stop it. Okay. Do you see this video that came up? Here, wait. Oh, that's, I didn't I, want it to start. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want the, 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 okay. See that woman right there? It yeah. says six minutes and five seconds. She yeah. says, stop it, Bob Newhart. Now, this is a very, by the way, you look like her. Look at her. Look, you look like her twin. <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty. Uh, so I want you to tie, I want you to watch it. It's a funny tongue in cheek. So what stop it is a metaphor for self-discipline. You know, if you were walking down a street and you saw a hole in the sidewalk, are you going to walk into it? Or are you going to walk around it? Like if you know your, your, your issue Right. Then, then discipline says, I'm going to, to, I'm not going to fall in the hole. 
you know? So this takes willpower. Mm -hmm. There is no magic, you know, by the way, there isn't this, this is where a lot of fantasy is in personal development. I mean, I've been at this, I'll be candid with you. Um, I'd say I began, re-began my journey in 2006, 2007. So what is that? We're two, that was 17 years ago. And for the first decade, I was, I was like a snail's pace of improvement. But little by little, each it was like peeling a layer of an onion. Just It was like the, the thinnest skin at first every single day. It began becoming more accelerated when I was intentional at really being mindful and learning how to regulate my emotions. But this isn't like one simple thing. It's, it's literally peeling a layer of an onion every single day. So avoiding the, the impulse to step into the hole, or in your case, it would be to the impulse to, um, to hide your voice. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to invite you to the opposite. Do practice speaking up. In, in small ways, speak up in small ways. And if you build that muscle of speaking up in small ways, do you, do you get what I mean by speaking up in small ways? You know, in things that aren't as scary. Right. And the more you do it, 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 the, then you will feel more confident. Okay. When you start expressing yourself from, this is how I feel. Most people point the finger and it's you, 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 you. But when we begin to learn how to speak from I statements, mm -hmm. this is how I feel. Not that you make me feel this way. This is how I feel when this happens. Right. All right. Well, thank you for letting me back on and thanks for- You're welcome. You've got great energy. You've got this, I, I just want to come and pinch your cheeks kind of energy. <laughs> You're so adorable. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I watched another one of your videos today real quick. I'm sorry. And then I'll get off your screen. Yeah, sure, um, sure. It was you and another girl. It was on your, um, it was on her channel. It was a, I don't remember her name. Anyway, it was a very spiritual it... talk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. You, you mentioned the, um, the whole, or the awareness, the hole in the street uh, analogy. Yeah. That was cool. I like that. <clears throat> yeah, by the way, so what I was describing for everybody is I learned it from, uh, and let me share it with everybody real quick. I learned this from Wayne Dyer. I didn't learn it from him personally watching a video. So you're walking down a the street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. You fall in, you're lost, you're helpless, but it isn't my fault. It takes a long time to get out. Next day, you're walking down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. This time you see it. You fall in, you're lost, you're hope, you're helpless but it isn't my fault, it takes a long time to get out. The next day, you're walking down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. You see it there, you fall in. It's a habit, it's your fault, you get out quickly. The next day, you walk down the same street, you see that deep hole in the sidewalk, you walk around it. And the next day, you walk down the name, same street, or you walk down a different street. The point is the holes in our sidewalk are our negative patterns, our limiting beliefs, our fears, our, our, our judgments, our resentments. Yeah. The minute we take ownership of it, that's 80% of it. Because even if you fall in, you can get out quickly. And that's my invitation for you in this particular case. Well, thank you. Janelle, again. Uh, thank you for allowing me to pontificate for a moment. I really appreciate it. I do <laughs> my too. Ego, my, my Leo <laughs> ego loves it, so I'll just own it. Anyway, I'm saying that tongue in cheek. Can I reach into the camera and give you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug? Yes, thank you. Thanks so much. Be well. Thanks, bye. Thanks, bye now. Wow, that was fun. See, I'm not so bad.